it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another gardening project. So today I am up on the porch because I have a couple porch projects. First and foremost is this verbena. So I picked up this verbena from the store. It is a firehouse verbena. It is not anything fancy, but I just wanted a little pink. I like pink plants on my porch and he is pink. So I then ordered this pot off Amazon. I will leave a link to him below. Um, last year I had over in my grill spot <laughs> where a grill's supposed to go, I had some zinnias and I don't even remember, maybe petunias. This year I have another one of these geraniums. The one over there is doing great. This one is not loving its spot at all. It doesn't look bad, but it just doesn't look good when you compare it to the other one. So I also have a plant stand next to that geranium that needed a small pot. So this should be the perfect spot. Um, this pot fits that little plant stand perfectly. And this verbena should grow up and over because I want it to come up and then down the sides of that plant stand. So we're gonna go ahead and just get him potted up and moved over to his new home. I have a few other projects on the porch. Um, I have another pot to plant up, but I haven't found the right plant for it. If I do, I'll plant it up in this video because we do have to go to the store later today. And then we're just going to do some cleaning on the porch. So, you know, when you start doing all these gardening projects outside, your tools go everywhere, dirt goes everywhere. Before you know it, everything's dirty. And my porch is my main place that I put tools and projects and, you know, it's just a hotbed for things. So we're gonna clean up the porch, get it back to looking presentable. Oh no, my mat. This mat keeps my landing clean. Not when I mess it up. And part of cleaning the porch is that I have a set of blue lockers on my porch. You've probably seen them in other videos. And they're my main source of storage up here. And while I love them, they're long skinny lockers. And I have a lot of stuff to put in them for my gardening projects, for my outdoor projects, for my resin projects that I do on the porch. So I bought a bunch of boards and I cut them down to size. And we are going to try to add the boards to the lockers to make more shelves. Once we get those shelves put in, we can store way more stuff in there. Won't that be nice? I've literally already set this verbena up on drip. He's been on drip over there for a week or two, waiting for this pot to come in. Well, waiting for me to decide what pot I wanted and then waiting for the pot to come in. So once we get all the dirt in, we can literally go put him directly in his spot and put the drip immediately on him. We'll go back to being a happy little clam. Ooh, this is taking a lot more dirt than I thought it would. Good thing I bought a whole bag. Thought I'd have enough for this pot and the other pot, but the other pot is bigger, so I don't know. Hey, my love bug. I think that's just about enough. I'm just bringing the soil up to the top of the pot and making sure to tamp it in. And even though it is on drip, we will water him in. But I think that's good. All right. Dun, 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 dun. So there's the front of the pot and you can see he will start to drape over the sides as it grows. All right. I 
another black pot for my collection. this up and our potting station is put away. Let's go put our verbena back on his pot stand, put that drip back in him and start on the shelves. I literally bought the wood for those shelves last year. So this project has been a long time coming. It will be very nice to be able to use those lockers properly. Let's hit it. Perfect. Now we've got that drip, the drip steak. Just gonna bring it up, put it in the back. And then this little guy is gonna go right there. Still need a plant. too much dirt but we'll leave it for now still gotta find a plant for it after all All right, y'all, so these lockers are really long, which would be great if you had like long hedge trimmers, but I have a lot of little things and they just get lost in these. As you saw, as I was cleaning them out, they become dust crap catchers instead of useful shelving on the porch for all my gardening and tools and uh, painting supplies. So, I had these boards cut down at the hardware store. They ripped them for me to the right size. And all I'm doing, very easy, is I'm just putting in screws and washers on the side and I am making myself some little shelves. Now, I am sure there are 
20 billion different better ways to do this, but this is a quick and easy way. And these, these lockers, I love them. They may or may not be going in my shed. I like them on the porch, but now that I'm getting a shed, I won't need as much storage on the porch because I can store things in the shed. And the advantage of putting things in the shed is that, I don't know if you noticed, because I kept having to turn the camera off and run inside, but I found four wasps nests with wasps in these because, I mean, you can see one right. Let's see if you can get them in the frame. Up there, he's gone now. He, there he is. Like, they can get in these holes even if I leave the doors closed. So the last thing you want when you're coming in here to grab your fertilizer or your spray cans is to find a bunch of wasps that are going to sting you. So we will see, these might be going in the shed, but for now, I just wanted to show you, I am putting shelves in. I think I'm gonna go two here. I'm gonna do one here because obviously if I put one on the bottom, one here, I can't do the same thing on the other side. Um, the screws won't work. So I think I'm just gonna split this one in half I'm gonna go maybe this row, split this one in half for slightly larger things. Like I have all these things right here that need a space. And then I will leave one tall one for now, just in case. I really don't think I have that much that's that tall. And then I think I'll do another two for one like this on the bottom. So two, two, one shelf no shelf and hopefully that will give me a really good configuration for anything I might need to store in these and then once the shed gets in and we start actually organizing the inside of the shed we will decide if these are going to make their way to the shed or if I'm going to put something else in the shed and use these in a different way so just wanted to step the time lapse real quick and show you once I get it all shelved up I can start organizing all the stuff that I took out back in it, but at least the door is clean. This is the door that uh, gets taken over by all the bugs, no matter what I do. And my pretty plants are planted. You can see I did this one uh, probably about a week ago. And so all those blooms, like it is loving its new spot with drip. And I need to deadhead this bad boy, but back to fast forward. I'm gonna move y'all over a bit so that hopefully you have a better vantage point. is clean 
plants are planted. I do need to um, trail my cucumber up the porch just a little bit because it is trying to grow kind of into the air instead of up on the porch where it'll have support. You might even be able to tell that um, something cool arrived in the middle of this video. So if you want to check out my new shed, I'll leave the link for that video down below because I'm very excited about it. But the porch is clean and I literally got the boards cut to make new shelves for the inside of this locker last year. They've been sitting out on the porch for a year. So I honestly was like, thought this was going to be a long project. It was not. The longest part was just getting the wasps out of there. I'm hoping now that I'm using it more often that will deter them. But I think I'm also going to get one of those, just a brown paper bag with plastic bags inside to hang somewhere over here. That's supposed to look like a hornet's nest. That's supposed to really help deter wasps. And so, because I know I've been watching, I think I showed you guys, they're going up in there. They've got some kind of a crazy nest in the siding. Um, so that's not great, but I'll give you a little tour. So we have the plant corner. Still need to deadhead that little guy. We've got this little guy, which I'm still not hundred percent sure what I'm going to use for, but I love it. I picked it up at an antique store for $5. It's an old like log fire um, wood holder. And so far I've just been keeping my plants, extra plant stakes in it, but I'm sure there is a better use for it. Um, then I do have my little metal shoe holder. So I use that when I'm going inside and my shoes are really muddy. I can kick them off in this little metal holder and then come out and clean them later because half the time when I'm out in the garden, I get dirty, I get sweaty, I get muddy, and then I want to take off those shoes before I go inside. So kick them off here. Got my lockers. I'll give you a, a closer up tour. Um, obviously I've got the ferns, got some more antique things. For large flamingos, I don't know why, on the internet for a long time, I found these literally on a cruise. I loved them. We talked the guy down from $100 to $60 for the pair, which was a steal, and the legs come off. They were huge, and I was trying to carry them. My brother brought his backpack to put souvenirs in, so he very graciously stuffed this big flamingo in his backpack and was walking around was literally walking around the entire port with this bird in his backpack, head sticking out, feet sticking out. I thought it was hilarious just because it's my brother, but we're walking down the pier back to the cruise ship and this little boy, he must have been maybe five or six. He just stopped, open mouth and stared and said, mommy, that boy has a bird in his backpack and then went running down the pier and it was just the cutest thing. So as much as I love these, that's what it reminds me of whenever I see them is A, my brother being sweet enough to carry them for me and B, that little boy being so freaking excited. Um, but the rest of my porch is just my work table. So right now this is where I do all my main resin projects. So if you see any of my resin things, this is where I do them. I'm gonna start doing them in the shed once it's set up, that's gonna be my new um, workshop for wood. I'm gonna have my miter saw in there and resin. I've got my potted up dahlia. If you watch my tuber video, still no growth on that. And then I've just got this dying bucket of um, hyacinths waiting till all the foliage dies back so I can cut them back and then save those bulbs for next year. And then my other front door. So that is everything. This is kind of a different video for me because while there was a little bit of planting up, it was mostly cleaning or building shelves. Now I do do builds and I almost just did this as a tutorial for how to put new shelves in lockers. And I probably will do that. I have the footage, um, but I don't know. I enjoy cleaning videos. So I thought you guys might like to see my porch go from a giant mess to clean and usable again. So. If you did, comment down below because I would like to know that. But in the meantime, 
I'm gonna go. I will give you a close up of what's all in my lockers and that'll be it. So see you in the next one. Okay, so locker number one, we have planting supplies. So my main gloves, my potting mat, this bucket is all hose things. So things to fix a hose, things to add heads to a hose, all kinds of stuff. My slow release fertilizer and my bug and slug killer. So these are things I reach for on a regular basis. Then I have my fertilizer shelf. So my rose tone my, I can't even say that, diatomaceous earth food grade that helps keep pests off of my edibles, my cucumbers, and my strawberries. I've got a bag back here of my fertilizer for my strawberries and my cucumbers that the bag broke, so it's in a Walmart bag. I've got my bloom trigger that I use for dahlias, and I've got my regular liquid feed that I use for my annuals. Next over, this one's not as exciting. So top shelf is just kind of miscellaneous. Look, there's one of those wasps and see, they just, I don't know that he's gonna do it. Oh. See, there's gotta be a billion of them in there. That's really not good, but I'm not sure how to get them out. I don't know, that might be an exterminator problem. Extra dog leash for when I bring my dogs out here. An umbrella for if I transplant, <laughs> if I transplant something and it's struggling. It, we're in really high weather here, so I will pop this big umbrella over it in that jug. I've got my feet for when I'm painting, and I've got all my painting tools, scrub brush, cleaning stuff, and my big pruners that are awful looking. The guys who literally installed my house left those here. I told them like 12 times and they never came back for them. So they're mine now. They're like 10 snips. Then we have this row. So this is all my main hand tools that I reach for frequently. My auger, my hand tiller, my shovels. We've got stakes and landscape staples, plant tags, and the little clips I use to train my cucumbers and watermelon up the trellises. Then I've got hummingbird feed, bird feed, neem oil, and stump and vine killer. These I don't reach for quite as often. I do have my pesticide bottle in the back, so I reach for that like once ever. And then I did go ahead and pop an extra shelf in here. I had some tall things, but not nearly as many as I thought I would, so I went ahead and put them all in the bottom. This is a cool gel mat that my dogs lay on if they come out here. Um, freezer paper for resin, jug for resin, and extra tubing for my drip system. And then back there is a harvest guard for if I need it for my fruits and vegetables. And up here is all of my plant tags that I keep. So got a designated place to put those. But there you go. I should have taken a before shot because this was ridiculous, but that is how you organize some lockers with gardening and painting and resin supplies. Peace out.